Hey friends, welcome back. Oh, look at that. I, I, I played with my chat settings because today they were like, Twitch was like, play with your chat settings, so I did. So there's a box with a little green outline and it says moderator next to stream elements. So way to go stream elements, you did it. <laughs> I like it. We are making cupcakes because I was gonna make pretzels and it was another yeast to dough and it was another big mess on here and something else I've never done and I would have to boil it in baking soda water, which is a basic water like lye. And it was too much, so I uh, changed my plan. So, hi Darkwood, how are you? Oh, hey, I probably need to turn off some of these chat settings. <laughs> because it gives me a lot of information. Oh my goodness. Let me put my glasses on so I can see what just happened. Max. Oh, thank you for the, the primary sub. I really appreciate that. How are you? All right, I'm gonna leave the chat for the way it is for now. It's got the boxes and the tags and everything and we'll see. If it drives me nuts, I'll just change it. Again, I, I was gonna make pretzels and I'm making cupcakes instead, so. Sometimes if we have control over our day, we make a choice to not do the hard things. I'm gonna do some experimental stuff, don't you worry. Just not what I had planned. So, Max, how is life with you? I feel like I haven't been able to catch up with you for a while. What's going on? In the meantime. Oh, mad tech, if you could, would you would? Am I a woodchuck? Feel like maybe I'm a woodchuck in this scenario because if a woodchuck could chuck wood how much wood would a woodchuck chuck right he or she would chuck as much wood as a woodchuck could if a woodchuck could chuck wood obvs <laughs> not that type of wood or wood oh well now I'm confused this isn't about woodchucks at all <laughs> I'm really good, Max, thank you. It's been, last week was like, you know when you say like it's been a week, that was last week. This week was gonna be another it's been a week week, but it got better. So, I'm happy, I'm very happy. Also I have caramels, which are gonna get made into a filling. I'm a little bit sad, but caramels make me happy, so there's always that. Okay, Mad Tech, you're gonna have to elaborate. I need to know more. Um, in the meantime, I have some stuff out, but not a lot. Just taking it a little bit extra chill today. I thought Monday, Tuesday. I thought Tuesday was gonna be extra chill and it turned out to be the least chill. <laughs> Yesterday, I couldn't stream for more than, I don't know, 45 minutes because the connection um, blew itself up. And by that, I mean Comcast still hasn't fixed it. They fixed two parts of it, but apparently now there's a third part. So, that's, that's what it is. That is what it is. I'm gonna get some bowls. And if you look here, I have mint already pulled out of the Arrow Garden. And so we're gonna make at least two fillings. We're gonna make, this is our baking caramel, by the way. Salty baking caramel. Irish, thank you so much for that sub. <laughs> we love you. Six months in a row. Have I been doing this for six months? No, you must have subbed before I existed, sweetie. <laughs> I don't know what happened. Hello, Warrior Queen, how are you? No, I really haven't. Oh wait, the end of March. So all April, May, June, July, August. Oh, September, okay. Never mind, he's legit. Irish is okay. <laughs> I'm well, I'm very well, thank you, Warrior Queen. You driving? Are you parked somewhere? I did, I've tried to listen to people on Twitch streams when I drive and I cannot, cannot do it. But I know that you do sometimes. All right, I'm getting gunk off of my scale. That's left over from yesterday's pizza shenanigans, which y'all didn't get to see most of, um, but I literally destroyed the kitchen. Had to rebuild it. It was just so messy. I vacuumed it twice, didn't mop it yet, cause I'm gonna do that tomorrow anyway. Uh, but it was, it was, Slightly traumatic for me. <laughs> Not at the moment, you'll be later. You can do it, you're used to it. You're a pro, excellent. And I know you take safety seriously and I appreciate that. As well you should. So, uh, so for our cupcakes, 
So I did post this recipe in Discord. Hello, Annalie, how are you? Um, it's, this is my chocolate cupcake recipe. I don't have another one. I don't need another one. Um, it, it's worked every time and now I just play with it. And so I thought you guys might like it. So I did, I did put it in Discord. I'm trying to be a little more proactive and a little more thoughtful so that you, I got, you can, you know, do stuff if you want to. If you don't, don't, it's all good. Bora, hello stream folks who are totally humans and definitely not bots. No bots here. I still, I still haven't fixed my follower count. It's like 640. I'm artificially inflated. <laughs> still at your new job, Annalie. I did not hear about the new job, but I don't like that it made you say bleh. So boo new job or boo still there or something. What's red and bad for your teeth a brick? <laughs> Uh, yeah, that, that is, that is for sure. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna cut up some butter and let it continue getting to room temp because we are gonna make cupcakes first, but then we're gonna play a lot with, have milk out, it's getting sus over there on the counter. That's okay. Mint, fresh mint, we'll steep some milk in the mint and see if we can make like a, a mint buttercream. And then a, to be potentially a filling as well. We'll do some different flavors. The caramel is gonna definitely be a filling. I'm gonna thin it out a little bit with some more milk. Oh, I believe they're power washing my house. I was like, that sounds like an RC car driving around, but I think, no, it is not. Hello, David, how are you? You saw the video clip, the banana hat. I was so tempted because there are some food and drink streamers, Kelly Cakes in particular, who does the really good job at like the dress up, like. Uh, the channel rewards with like wear this hat or wear these sunglasses and it looks so fun and she's a very fun streamer to watch so we were at the Halloween store and absolutely me and the kid gravitated right towards the fruit hats and I thought I goof off all the time with y'all anyway so you can see me being goofy with my friend that was my friend Jen who's sometimes in here hello flat spin how are you but thank you Annalie I appreciate that oh yeah they're definitely power washing it's not too loud for me. Hopefully y'all can't even hear it at all. Doing well, avoiding flat. Oh, <laughs> oh thank you for the heart, Annalie. I appreciate that you enjoyed our humor. We are just silly things. I don't know who Iris is playing with, but whichever one of you is playing the shooty game with him, he seems to be in a good place with it. Having a good day. Dang, right? Haterade in chat. <laughs> Flat spin, I'm sorry. Are you feeling meh? I will cheer you up. I will give you a cupcake. All you have to do is make it to the North Houston and I'll, I'll come bring you a cupcake. <laughs> For some of you, that's actually possible. And maybe someday I will do that. Maybe someday I will do like a, a meet and greet at a park or something now that the the weather i have to stop just playing around you be nice david um <laughs> but the cupcake works too that's good uh today it was 59 degrees as the low and so me and the kid and my friend jen went outside and it was 61 and we're like really and then we just walked for three miles and the whole time we were just so happy this is what happens when you are a houstonian <laughs> the first day it gets cold, you're like, oh, I will get out my sweaters and boots. It's, it's not gonna not be sweater and boot weather yet, but we're all thinking it by we all, I mean me and Jen, <laughs> maybe other people, <laughs> maybe everyone else is too reasonable for that. But this can be nice. That's right. That's right. You boys be good to each other. Who else is going to look out for you if not your brothers? It's kind of true, isn't it? And sisters. I mean, I got sisters. We're pretty awesome. Now, we weren't before. <laughs> Emily, your sense of humor is one of the things you still have. You started out life with nothing and you still have most of it. Hold on to it. You're good, Emily. You're, I mean, I think you have, I think you're an amazing person. So you can hold on to that too. But as far as, yeah, being able to start life and maintain some of the stuff that you value in yourself, humor absolutely should be one of them. And I'm glad you still have it. Flat, except that Raider guy, <laughs> the poo poo head. He needs to come in here and defend himself. No one gets a cupcake if they call their brother's names. 
It's not true. I give you all cupcakes anyway. <laughs> Wonderful weather in Alabama too. Good. I'm so glad. It's about time, right? Oh yeah, you know what I wasn't supposed to do is put it in this bowl. Always. Always do it wrong. It's okay. I have many bowls. And most of my other stuff's in the dishwasher, but that's okay. Humor, what's that, Boro? You wouldn't know anything about that. You're gonna attempt that blueberry cheesecake without the lavender. Oh, Darkwood, that's amazing. Yes, I think though, I think that like the drip around the edge, for you guys who don't know what we're talking about, it is in uh, my Discord and the recipes and picks channel, uh, and it looks impeccable. But I feel like the white layer is gonna be lavender and white chocolate maybe, and then um, that that chocolate ring around the edges, I think legit like melted chocolate that, that is not thinned out because it looks like it hardened, like really hard back to, uh, brick or chip state you know so things to think about you thought it was just blueberry see it flat i think i felt like the presence of the flowers on the on top of the blueberries weren't just decorative because you can use lavender for flavoring i mean it's pretty it's not pretty common pretty common but it's one of the things like rosemary you shove it in there sometimes the writer guy wants to stay on his side of chat we can all get along we can share the space i know personal space is hard right especially with brothers and elbows Thank you, Boro, for putting the Discord link in there. Unless this is false fall, then you're gonna be mad. I know, David, same. I mean, for us, it's 100% false fall. We're gonna hit another 90 plus degree day. I'm sure, I haven't even looked. That's just how it is, so. You hung out with Tech Op and Red last week. It was fun. You did escape rooms. Oh, Emily, that's cool. I would love to do that. Wouldn't that be fun? with some of our personalities in chat and stuff or I mean if me and Irish did it the thing is we would we would we would fight a little bit we'd have a little bit of that bickering you know red won't keep him in his hands to himself well flat spin can you blame him no I'm just kidding that's never okay never okay I mean the child like my child still doesn't have that down she's like can I poke your tummy because it's my little it's my little fat tummy and I'm like, no. And so she does it and I'm like, mm, I just said no, it's like my body, you can't touch it. And then she proceeds to assault me. <laughs> it can be hard, especially with those that you love and feel familiar with, but no touchy. Oh, wet willy. Um, yeah, no, that would probably be justified. They're very, that's a good weapon, right? Never do it to Irish, he will literally die. You can eat packaged food from here to Judgment Day if you have enough rosemary. I mean, is that a real, you put quotes around it. Who's that a real quote by? Because it's probably true. And salt, rosemary and salt and, but, and butter. Okay. Rosemary, salt, and some kind of oil. Yes, fat. <laughs> the what really is a game changer, legit. Okay, let's get some stuff out of the pantry. We're gonna do, we're gonna get our sugar fly we're gonna get everything everything is in there except the eggs and the yogurt so sugar flour it actually doesn't use brown sugar does it so that's the one thing i won't be getting out right away nope vanilla baking soda baking powder oh yes um we will be getting confectioners out for frosting even though i already have two kinds of frosting in my freezer because we need three kinds of frosting. It's freaking disgusting is what it is, yes what it is. Oh, Shepherd book I love, oh my gosh. Is that really? I was talking about Firefly a couple days ago. Oh, because, didn't you say, didn't you quote it? Um, Curse your sudden yet inevitable betrayal. And I have, I didn't get the shirt out. It's in my box. I rotate out nerdy t-shirts. Um, and it's in, it's in storage right now. The quote is from the pilot. Oh, okay. I should, I, I think I would like to watch it again. I hope it would hold up. Uh, I did not get the cocoa powders out. So that's the last thing I need, yes. Oh gosh, they're like hidden behind all this other stuff. I made myself cake flour. I can use it in this. This calls for cake flour. I don't usually but I went ahead and make it, made a batch and this is what I have left for making 
whatever cake I made with it. Mm, was it the milk cake? Or it wasn't the oatmeal cake. It was one of the cakes from last week. Pretty sure. We talked about Firefly. That's why you quit, uh, picked it specifically. Very nice. Very nice. You could use a syringe full of yogurt in your ears. Oh no. <laughs> this is like a gross out contest, isn't it, you two? It's pretty gross. Okay, 300 grams of sugar. Start with the good stuff. I don't even need a spoon yet. I'm still using up the rest of the sugar in here. a little and I didn't want to breathe in the cloud of sugar. You should not actually inhale that stuff. Love or not. <laughs> they don't do that anymore, flat spin. I heard. I heard specifically they don't, doctors don't check your business that way. What are they even checking? Prostate, right? There's a blood test now. They still do. Iris said they don't. A syringe full what size? Oh god. <laughs> they have um they have syringe shots at the Halloween store and they're just they're giant. I was like, that looks like a lot of alcohol. Like, you know, drinks in a in a syringe. I mean a shot and a syringe are kind of synonymous. Never mind. Unless your doctors are just weird. They could be. They could indeed be. Alright, 140 grams of flour, normal flour. I mean, just enough to gross out your enemy. <laughs> Are you sure your doctor is a doctor? I mean, good point, Max. Gynecologists, everyone's like, oh, I'd love to do that. I'm pretty sure you'd be extremely bored after the first five minutes. Well, not everybody says that. Probably middle school boys say that. Because they just don't know. All right, so that is our AP flour. So how much cake flour are we supposed to put in here? 68 grams, fantastic. I hope, I hope there's 68, there is. For sure there is. You basically take AP flour uh, and at a certain ratio put cornstarch in it and sift it very well. And so that is what I did. Curses, we are two grams over. I mean, it was Dom, but he said he's certified. <laughs> oh my goodness, that's so funny. Three cc in the ear would be more than plenty. I, If I had a reference, I could tell you, but it still seems like a lot. That's cubic centimeters. That's that's not small. Yeah, no. Mm -mm. Certified or just on register? No. Oh. That's the right question to ask. Okay. Cocoa powder, 80 grams total. So we're doing 40 of bougie as usual. Unless 40 uses the entire thing it won't. Okay. Still, this gets, everything gets more expensive, doesn't it? But this stuff, Coco Rouge, it's just a little innocent canister. It really is worth it. And I don't say that about most food things. Like I buy cheap butter and cheap everything. Um, this cocoa powder is worth it. Even though I split it in half and do half and half. <laughs> you didn't read the fine print. That's what you get, Flat. You gotta read the details. <laughs> You're certifiable. Seems fine. It reminds me of um, psychic paper from Doctor Who. It just shows whatever it's supposed to, to convince somebody that you're legit and not sus. Okay, a teaspoon of soda and one Everything is fine, so nothing is ruined. They, oh, they are both clean. That's nice, did I not? I put it back here. Got things spread out everywhere. Everything is fine, nothing is ruined. Sound alerts are still not coming in. I did not 
redo my sound. Um, I did not uh, feel brave enough to break it all again and take out voice meter. So I obviously need to do something about that, but I will. Bacon cupcakes, maybe. Chocolate and bacon cupcakes, that'd be interesting, right? We could try that. We're gonna try bacon caramel filled chocolate cupcakes. I think that'll be fun. That's why Dom isn't around 500 feet around our rest area. Strong bed, you, uh, you know Boro, yeah? Good. That's one of my favorite quotes. Thank you for the lurk warrior queen. This chat thing, it makes, it makes chat huge though, so. 500 miles. You're hearing them? Okay, then that's fine. I'm, I'm usually fast enough at reading. Um, but let me go ahead and switch my, so they have this chat highlight settings now that you can have for um, suspicious users, first time chatters, at mentions, moderators, VIPs, and subscribers. So I think I'm just gonna have it box sus and first time. And then maybe, because y'all are delightful people and are moderators and subs for the most part. And so I want it to be smaller. <laughs> I want it to take up less room. Okay, I need to change one more thing. Oh, maybe not. Default, minimized. No, minimize is still what I want. I just don't want it for most of y'all. Ah, we'll see how it goes. A large percentage of your humor is Homestar Runner base, as it should be. You, can you sing? You are not sus, Shayna. Thank you. You, ha you have now been cleared by the Twitch overlords, and so you look all right. <laughs> how are you doing? David, you're delightful. Yes, indeed you are. <laughs> Dodged a bullet there, Shayna. Didn't want to be marked sus forever, right? Working another half hour? Okay. Nice. Then you get to go. Is it anybody's Friday on a Thursday? It's kind of mine because I'm hosting Mama Huevos tomorrow and not streaming, but I'm also hosting a sleepover tomorrow. So there's that. But I don't have to drive two hours to the beach and two hours back in the same day before I host the sleepover, so I will not be insane. It's another reason. See, I would much rather drive 18 hours. Not eight, it's not 18 hours to the Rockies. What is it like though, 10? I mean, I'm in Texas, it's big. Uh, but I'd rather drive a day to get to the mountains and stay in the mountains than I would to go to the beach because then I just want to go home. I know, a lot of you probably love beaches. I get it. Kiddo loves them. Uh, people, people really like beaches. I don't hate beaches. I just don't think it's worth driving to the beaches near me. Because Galveston is... Um, I mean, that's why we have Mexico right there, so we can go to Mexican beaches. <laughs> so the Texans don't have to go to their own beaches. Very much do not like. There you go, Bora. You're only sus because you got beef with every Twitch bot. <laughs> Ada, you're that guy who comes in, stomp, stomp, stomp. Where are the bots at? Gets out little pew pews, little water guns, you know. I like that. You can be like the bot, the botinator. Is that a thing? How do you crack me up? Okay, so this is our dry stuff now. We, yeah, put in the butter. So that's why it has to go in the little bowl because it's not supposed to go in the big bowl. The big stuff's supposed to go in the big bowl. Then we put the butter in. It's not soft enough. So we nuke. And we get out the mixer because this one really does need the mixer. There are some things that I will not do by hand. Whipping cream generally is one of them, and this recipe is generally another. So, get that. Everything is a mess. There we go. Ah, 
I'm sure it's fine. If not, we can let it sit and we can wait. I have Gartic working, the art thing, uh, the art game that should... It's funny, I say it's working because it was working earlier today and I haven't rebooted this laptop. However, that truly does not mean it's working now, does it? Oh, vanilla is gonna go in in a minute. What else is gonna go in? I should get out. Oh, I should put the rest of the butter in it. <laughs> half of me was making half recipe again. All right. The nice thing is this makes a bunch of cupcakes and then we can play with different flavors in different batches. So that will be good. Irish came down to snuggle with the kiddo. He's so cute. Ah, thank you, Daniel. I will hydrate. No, it was right here, I swear. Oh, it's right there. <laughs> Yay! Hello. What you doing? You got destroyed? In what? What were we playing? Brown Branch. Oh, Brown Branch. I did not recognize what game it was. Cheese. Excellent snack. Cheese and turkey, even better. I should have a cheese redeem for my channel points. <laughs> it's going well. Thank you, Daniel. Turkey and uh, turkey and rice casserole. No, chicken, chicken and rice casserole. But I'll make you whatever you want, up to and including ordering pizza if you're ready. Not ready. Soon. Did, did he, he completely walked around the whole thing, didn't he? So that y'all couldn't see him. That's okay. Off he goes. Daniel, how are you? Your weather's better than it was before, right? It's cooler. Uh, four eggs. Heard pizza. So Irish really wants pizza and the Cal the Cali chicken bacon from Domino's is his favorite right now. And so I've been offering to get it, but he's not ready and he's not ready and he's not ready because his, first his tooth was painful and now it's gone and there's a hole there. And so he can't really do the crunchy chewy thing right now. So we're waiting. It's perfect weather. I'm so glad. I love that. Everybody's got their own, you know, happy zone, but a lot of, a lot more of us are happy, I think. All right. So this is a cup of butter that goes in and we make crumbs. So we'll do that. These are the cupcakes I freeze the most often because it does make a bunch. And so then leave them, just bake them and then cool them and freeze them without frosting, without filling or anything like that. And then makes them easy to thaw and fix up however I want. Really the thing is we are out of cupcakes. So anytime we're out of cupcakes, I like to be back in cupcakes and they're easy and they're versatile. And pretzels were going to be stressing me out. I'll say, I'll say pretzels for a day that I feel ambitious. Today was knowing my limits and being fine with them. Mmm. <coughs> Tastes like sugar. 
I'm pretty sure breathing sugar dust is really bad. Highly unadvisable. Discord made a noise. I forgot I was locked into it here. I was like, what happened? Probably should not stay logged into Discord while I'm streaming or I'll be all kinds of distracted when I... Sugar suffocation is supremely suboptimal. I'm trying to think of a way to say true in S. It's more than sufficient. <laughs> we love our alliteration games. We... Kiddo and I would play animal alliteration all the time when she was little. She's still like five years later after I invented that game for Kari. She's like, let's play the game. Only now it's like swear words or <laughs> characters in Zelda Breath of the Wild or famous YouTubers, different categories now, not just animals. We, we really started it to be the picnic game, which is what I had always called it before that, which is my name is Amy, I'm an aardvark, and I'm bringing apple pie to the, to the party, or the picnic. And then on her turn, she would be Bartholomew the bee bringing um, bagels, and so on, and we would go through all the letters that way. All right, there are still a few chunks of butter. That's okay, we're gonna do some stuff in the meanwhile, and it's gonna soften up and we'll whip it in. So. Eggs go next, but I'm gonna preheat. Yeah. At 350, and I'm gonna get the cupcake pans and papers out. So that all of that is ready when the batter is. And I need to buy more cupcake papers. Hang on. Alexa, put cupcake papers on the shopping list, please. Good robot. Not always great robot, but decent robot. Does anybody have any fall traditions? I've been thinking about what I would bake when I could start celebrating fall, and I've got a whole list in my head. Uh, but today was the first day it actually dawned on me that it might be close <laughs> and I know a lot of people do things like oh hello Joshua with some other letters that I want to it's like Tethys <laughs> thank you Josh I appreciate that oh it's the power washing still yeah Ichthys Ichthys Josh Josh, Joshua like this. Oh, it's a capital I. That helps, huh? That? New, first time chatter. Welcome in. You're hungry? Do I need to feed you? Yeah. Oh, the ichthys fish. Did you, yeah, of course. Thank you. Because, jo yes. Looking for Christian streamers. I am definitely one of those. We mostly talk about poop and cake. So um, if that's your jam, <laughs> welcome. If not, that's okay. I'm not for everybody, right? I keep it family friendly. Uh, I do a pretty good job of that. But until I come on. Until Irish comes on. That's my husband. <laughs> and he streams a different game. She makes all this amazing food and I'm just walking around with a floppy piece you of just ham. <laughs> Hi, Indy. Ew, family friendly, I know. No, if you want if you want toxic and language, you go to his stream later and a lot of other, other friends in here because they fly DCS and they swear like sailors. So it's all good if you're in the mood for that kind of thing. Everybody loves cake. Cakes have layers, like parfaits, that's right. But Joshua, if you're Josh, if you do stay around here, absolutely you're welcome. I know, right? 
Rye doesn't like family friendly. Rye wants me to drop the F bomb. It's not all happening. Right. Only one time, only one Off time. Off the stream, she does it all day long. A little bit more. Huh, okay. All day long. All Stinker. Day long. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, anyway. <laughs> I mostly do it while I'm driving, which I know is terrible, but driving is terrible. It can be. So, anyway. All right, these are ready. So, we are going to start adding more stuff to this bowl, which is going to start. Jesus is watching. Jesus is always with me. It's all good. It's very comforting for me. Not for everybody. I get that. But it's for me. Not the F-bomb. I, I try not to say Farfuknugan too much. That's exactly right. I do use the S word a lot. Shenanigans, though. Does he do Microsoft Flight Sim? I do just got a new PC. Oh, to have better views and fake flights. Um, a long time ago, he did, but he switched to DCS. Um, which Eagle Dynamics makes it digital combat system, right? I think that's what it stands for. It's if you see um, military footage, and you can tell like a little bit that it's might not be 100% real or might be composited. It's usually DCS. It's a very very uh, real looking flight simulator. So you just had to look it up. Um, yeah, they're very similar, but DCS is uh, to them to the group that plays it. Uh, DCS is better. <laughs> I'm gonna grab some eggs. Oh gosh, I forgot. I have the big flats of eggs, so I don't have little curtains that are convenient. Everything is fine, nothing is ruined. Yes, there we go. Four eggs, don't drop eggs on stream. Don't drop eggs on stream. I've done it before, it's fine. <laughs> I don't have dogs anymore though, to come clean them up. So that's, although the cats might, the cats might do that. Okay, so I'm gonna put um, four eggs in one at a time and then we get Greek yogurt last and that should get us to the point where we can bake. So I'm gonna practice my one hand crack, you know. Everything is fine, Everything is nothing, fine. Is, nothing ruined. is ruined. Thank you, Daniel. Let's see how much shell I can get into it. I need to crack them harder, oh see, there is shell in it. I need to crack them harder on the countertop. I just don't like it because then it gets white on the countertop and then my countertop is all sticky and then I have to clean it. Who wants to clean their countertop? <laughs> yes, right. Um, cupcakes today, it was gonna be pretzels, but that was too too daunting for me, so I came back to a comfort thing, and um, we're gonna do experimental fillings and frostings instead. So, we still have some uh, potential failure factor here, but hopefully not with the cupcakes themselves because I've made these for ages and ages. Oh, no, that was, I was gonna say it's a little cleaner and I also got shell in there. Two shells, how many shells can I get? Um, when you see me stick the rest of the eggshell in there, it is for a reason. So I know a lot of you know this tip, but if you don't know the tip, you stick the eggshell in to scoop it out because your finger, the white will resist it, but because the eggshell has white on it, it will let it in, basically. You want to play flight sim but can't find a good left-handed stick. Don't even know if you'll like it, so don't want to spend too much, so you just don't bother. There is a risk. I mean, some of this hardware is very expensive. I'm going to mix it a little bit more. It's getting, it's getting doughy. And I'm going to put more in because my poor mixer is not going to make it if I don't loosen it up. What? Oh yeah, there's, there's, nope, there's shell in there. Oh fudge, there is shell in there. Let's get it out. So basically I'm 0 for 3. Two pieces of shell. Oh no, one's the Khaleesi, that's fine. That belongs in there. It's too heavy to even stand up. The beaters are pulling it down. all right for a minute last one see if we can do it I mean your moral support I'm I'm the one cracking the egg I think we did it yay one one out of four okay it's definitely failing <laughs> have I ever made black bean brownies 
I've tried a lot of things, including avocado chocolate mousse. I, I feel like I have done black bean brownies a really long time ago, uh, but I didn't do them correctly. There was a lot of seed coat, yes. Well, lentil cookies also in that time, which is seed coat issues as well. Um, I, I might need to try it again, just for fun. I do like alternative um, recipes and trying out things like gluten-free or dairy-free just to see how it works, see if I can get it to be, you know, decent. Keto, keto is my main experimental area. Vegan, no oil or sugar, oh, that is exciting. That would be neat to try. I, I, there's probably a better recipe since then, which was probably 2015 or earlier that I tried last. So see how dark brown this is? We're gonna add um, Greek yogurt and whip it until it's really light brown and so fluffy. Uh, I need 130, need 227 grams. Is that right? Yeah. Hello, Krem, how are you? Rai, have you made them or are you just interested in making them at some point? The black bean brownies. I always use a fresh spoon for yogurt. It's too easy to get something else in there and then I mean, there's already bacteria, so you want to keep the good stuff in and not add some more stuff. <laughs> ah, I'm glad to hear that you're welcome. Love that shirt. Oh, thank you. <laughs> it does close on the back. So I'm glad I picked it today then. You make them as your go-to dish for any potluck, never had to bring any home? Really? That's great. I definitely need your recipe then. If people will eat it, that is fantastic. That's kind of what we want, right? I made a food that was good enough for people to eat. <laughs> okay, I'm going for 227. Still have plenty to go. Don't be too much. It's gonna be too much. <laughs> it's too much, that's okay. All right, let's get as much off of there as we can. This is thankfully one of the ones where it's not gonna completely ruin it if there's a little too much yogurt in. So, some things happen that way. Mmm. Yeah, that's true. If you have IBS, and somebody sneaks in a bunch of fiber, you're gonna have a day. I should have put disclaimers on some of the things I've baked on here too, for that reason. They'll make you poop. You're wearing a shirt with a chemical structure of caffeine. Oh, that's great. Yesterday, I was wearing um, a chemical structure of sucrose and an anatomical diagram of a heart. Go check the VOD real quick. It was my sweetheart shirt. I love it. Did you get it off of Think Geek, the chemical caffeine one? I've looked at that one, just never got it. These are all th old Think Geek shirts. I haven't bought any for, for ages. All right, um, oh, vanilla, of course. Teaspoon. Two, two teaspoons, because it's a nice, big, rich batch. Oh, yours was a gift. Oh, yeah, well, try, if you like it, I don't know how much Think Geek still, still sells, but I think they still have stuff. Okay, two teaspoons of vanilla. Your shirt has the structure for dopamine. Nice, that's a good one, too. I don't know what that one looks like, but I like the idea. Your shirt says, I bake people happy. <laughs> We are the best dressed stream right now, for sure. Look at us, love it. Is thinking still around? Yeah. Oh, bought by GameStop, then killed? Really? Boo. That is lame, that's rough. I mean, they were, I spent so much money and time on that site. <laughs> They were the only place for the longest time in the late 90s and early 2000s for anything like that. It was a very sad day, right? We need to have like Think Geek Memorial Day. <laughs> All right, so this is gonna go, once I get it, yeah, it's gonna go for 90 seconds, which is kind of a lot.
I'm counting in my head because I don't have a timer for 90 seconds. call that 90 I did lose count but we'll, we'll, we'll see it this looks generally good so I'm gonna scrape it down once um, the Bluetooth old-school handset yes I love that one I never got it I mean they had so much stuff I couldn't get everything I mostly got t-shirts but they had such a bunch of fun stuff and then um, I'm getting my disher love the sweetheart shirt good I'm glad you liked it I just thought that was funny that you mentioned that and I was like, oh, I did that yesterday. Completely at random. We are all wearing chemical shirts. I love it. Or clever shirts. Well, thank you, Krem. You, oh, yes, Rye. They're April Fool's products. What, what ended up getting made? I know a couple of things actually did. People were like, oh, I would order that. Like, I need that in my life. And then, <laughs> and then they had it. All right, we're gonna put a two in it, two in each, yeah? Hmm, I have some debate in my notes. One and a half, I settled on one and a half, I think. Let's get one in each one first. Here for the count. Thank you, Crime. I appreciate your lurk as always. So happy to be here with you guys and girls and people of whatever description you would like. And so always a good time. Actually gonna do one scoop in the other tray and then we'll come back and do half in each one. I, I just like to do it that way. It's moussey though, you see how thick it is? Lag beginning again. Um, I'm green, Boro, but it did show 1.8. Yes, 1.8% drop frames, so I think it was me. Wow, if it starts bouncing again, I'm going to be sad. But I can handle it. I will fix my sadness with video games and cupcakes, like a true professional. <laughs> Tried to reload because the connection was lost on your end. Oh, okay. All right, good to know. So yeah, I do see a few drop frames, but I'm solid green again. So I do know that Twitch had issues yesterday along with Comcast on my end having issues. So maybe there's more than one thing at, at play here. My watch just keeps going off. Oh, it's, yeah, yeah. Got all the reminders for me. Okay, so I'm putting in a half scoop into each one. And I always say, yeah, I should do grams next time. And I never measure it for grams, and I never write it down, so I can't. Truly, it probably does not need doing. It is not a particularly picky recipe, which is nice, which is probably why I like it and do it more frequently. All right, let's get that ring. 
of batter off of there. Are we good now, friends? Is everybody getting my connection? Okay, thank you, Shannon, that's very helpful. In the very beginning when I started streaming, we were trying to do the, the thing where I'd watch my, my chat on an iPad, and so I was watching my own stream so I would know if anything went on with it. But that was also slow. I was not reactive and I was terrible at watching it on a separate screen from OBS. So now it's where it should be for me. <laughs> Good, Boro, I'm glad, I'm glad. So if I'm, yeah, if that's the only thing that happened so far, then I think we'll carry on. If it bounces too much, I will not carry on with, with the streaming part. All right. <laughs> Trying to make a half of a scoop here with all the stuff that's stuck to it. There's a fly. Of course there's a fly. I can't even get out the projectile weapon of choice for the fly termination because I'm not supposed to do that on Twitch. So I can't propel salt at it with my mechanism, unfortunately. I'll get in trouble. Do you know what I'm talking about, you guys? I think some of you have the same fly deterrent device. I should have said y'all. Not all of you are guys. Not all of you care though, so I don't know. <laughs> yes, the bug assault device, exactly indeed. Good, so you know what I'm talking about. But it's super handy, although I should, I, I used it at a fly three times the other day. It took me two extra uses of the device. I aimed in everything, like I don't even know what happened. Fly laughed at me. You've got one of those USB fly rockets? Oh yeah, the shocky thing. Flies are horrible right now, wishing for a good freeze. I know, right? Yeah, it's funny, everything here was so hot that we had ants, we had a ton of bugs in the house, mostly ants. And then it, it cooled off enough like that the plants can grow decently again and all the ants went back outside. And now it's very nice and it's gnats and flies and we'll see what happens next. Okay, these cupcakes are going in for 15, 18, It says usually 18. We're extra checking. Yeah, the rest of it's my experimentation and putting it in cake pans, so. Look at all of this we have left. At least 12 more. So that's fine. In the meantime, I think, mm, should I do mint first or caramel first? I'm gonna do caramel first. And I'm making this up. So if you have tips, you just let me know. My idea is to melt it down. Do you hear that slap in there? Thank you, Shayna, for the lurk. Absolutely. Later or next time would be delightful. If you can catch me tomorrow, I will be hosting Mama Huevos, and I would appreciate, if you can, if you'd hang out for her. She's super awesome, and she's doing a charity stream. So, if you can't, that's okay. I will potentially be in her chat and also managing sleepover stuff. I don't know when the kids are gonna come over yet, so maybe it will be very peaceful. You're voting for peanut butter filling, barring any allergies. I can do that, Rye. I can totally do that. We'll do 
a variety of fillings. I've done that one before to a degree. Actually, I made it too thick last time. So I'll make it, I'll make a thinner, like a nice peanut butter ganache, like a lighter one. Uh, for this we'll do, we'll see if we're gonna melt down the caramel with some milk. And then if it's still too thick, I will probably, oh, I don't even wanna use that burner. That's the giant burner. There we go. All right, so we should have, it's a Reese's peanut butter cupcake. I, yes, so my friend Jen, who I mentioned, um, can attest that for her birthday a couple years ago, I made these very cupcakes. I made a uh, peanut butter filling like you're talking about, and then I frosted, I think with just American buttercream at that time. And so it was like a Reese's cupcake because it had the peanut butter filling, and it, it turned out really well, which I was happy for. Actually, let's put that in there. I will get some peanut butter and I'll get, we have some milk to dilute it. And then I think I put powdered sugar in. I believe that was how it went. So let me see where our peanut butter is. It's so funny. The kid has times that she loves peanut butter sandwiches and then times when she only loves turkey and cheese. And we're in a turkey and cheese place right now. So we have a ton of peanut butter. We'll just whip up a little something and see. Oh yeah, I put more butter in it, didn't I? So I put butter, not milk. I could probably put both, a little bit of both. <laughs> I was like, I'll just lick the spoon and then I thought it's peanut butter. I will have regrets. Here, check out if it's still working. It is! I know it's blown out. I can't, I still can't get the pro version to load onto that phone. I think because it's so old, unfortunately. So I'm not able to adjust the exposure, but it gives us a little bit of a view of what's going on. And I don't want to forget it because I will burn the heck out of it. And that would be sad. All right, more butter. That is the mantra. Always, right? Like spoon, no regrets. Nope. It would be lots of regrets because I couldn't talk. Be like Mr. Ed. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> All right, so let's. Oh, it's already. Oh gosh, it's already getting warm and goopy. Great. This might be quick. Um, you know. Oh. Hearing the noises, the sweet, sweet sounds. I think of power washing again. All right, we're gonna kill the heat on that. Oh, something's curdling. Well, that's exciting. Really, my milk curdled? Then it ruined everything. Oh, it did. Right. No caramel. <laughs> Gross. Well, now I know not to use that milk in anything hot. Dang, that caramel is primo. Alas, peanut butter it is. That was caramel in blocks, yes. I got a double boiler, really? I do milk in there all the time. I think my milk, well, I mean, my milk, uh, my milk expired three days ago. That could have something to do with it too. I probably should have double boilered it, yeah. Everything is fine, thank you, Attaboy. Nothing is ruined. Except the caramel stuff, we're fine. Everything is fine. All right, so I'm gonna put butter in peanut butter. We're gonna warm that up. That will be, that'll be where it's at. Mm, let's do 30 seconds and see if everything explodes. Oh, I need that pot though. Is this milk supposed to be crunchy? <laughs> right? Um, milk, you're doing it wrong when it has lumps. I almost, um, I always use this milk for coffee as well, but I didn't today because I went on a walk with my friend and there's a Starbucks on the way. So he went and got Starbucks coffee. But that means I can't use it for mac and cheese either, which is what we use most of the milk for. Everything is fine. Nothing is ruined. Ooh, yeah. All right, do I have, I do have some spatulas. We're still all right. So the peanut butter's all melty. I just got a really weird stomach pain. C 
see what happens with that. That'll be exciting. Eventually the heat from the peanut butter will melt the middle of the butter. So we'll just keep stirring. Just keep stirring, just keep stirring. You don't use real milk, so you can't advise too much. Yeah, I get that, Rye. And when I use almond milk in place of milk for some things, even though it's fine, it will look curdly. It will get that funky bits kind of texture. And so it's not insurmountable, but I definitely for that one did not want to keep using it, you know. Uh, but almond milk actually you can use it for like American buttercream and it will it will look curdly and it will come back together eventually which is nice wow that was delayed oh the sound see I still can't hear them so um, am I dropping anything else let me clear this stuff because it um, yeah. I'm trying to think of what I ate because the stomach pain is getting worse I don't usually have sharp tummy ache. Maybe it's thinking about if I had eaten the curdled milk and caramel, <laughs> like getting me ready. So that's really nice. That's a really nice runny consistency. Really dry, two minutes, oh my gosh. Well, my connection looks fine. I'm gonna blame Twitch and or who do I use for sound? I almost said sound elements. Who do I use for sounds? Um, whoever it is. Maybe they're laggy too. Well, we'll see. We'll see what happens next. Okay, so this, oh, there's a piece of butter. Thought I was done. This is going to get a little bit of powdered sugar in it. Because if I taste it right now, that's natural peanut butter, so it doesn't actually have sugar in it. Dream Lab. Um, Ian, blame it on Ian, right? Actually, that's nice and sweet. God, that's sweet. Why is that so sweet? Does it have sugar in it? And I just thought it didn't. It's, it's really quite... Whoop. Let's throw it around, shall we? Oh, wow, I got one with sugar in it. It has peanuts first instead of sugar first, but apparently this one that I've been buying her has sugar. So we will not add any more. We kind of have to actually, otherwise it'll drizzle through the, the crumb of the cake. That's fine. It's supposed to be sweet, sweet, but it's, <laughs> it's a surprise to me. Let's see how that thickens it. We're gonna go slow on this one. Looks all chunky. I could use the beaters on this one too to smooth it out because that powdered sugar is gonna take a little bit of effort to be smooth. That's okay, we'll do it. See, this I don't mind so much. It's some things where it's like insurmountable without a mixer, honestly. Even my shaker jar for whipped cream. It's fine for like a little bit of cold brew or something, but, or whatever, what is it called when you, the cold foam. But it's a lot of effort to make whipped cream with it. All right, let's taste it. See, I like that consistency already. Does this channel have a designated scapegoat? No, but apparently we need one. Blame, blame it on Strong Bad. I like that. He can take it. Strong Bad's tough. We should do that. I need to make a note because I think it would be very funny to have a scapegoat command, so we should do that. I guess after six months now of streaming, I can't say I'm quite a nub anymore, but they still have lots to do. Lots of improvements to make. A 
Excellent. Noted. All right. Let's get more powdered sugar in here. It's much better than Irish being the scapegoat, right? <laughs> He's the fixer. Not the reason things break. Hmm, okay. This looks like just the, I said it was perfect and then I put more in it. No, but this is like the, the Reese's consistency. So we'll let it cool down a tiny bit more. It's almost back to room temperature from being melted. But I wanna make sure. That's really good. It's very sweet. Uh, make sure it doesn't get too much stiffer because if it's too stiff, I don't, it won't feel right when you bite into the cupcake. So I'm gonna put these away. We're not using any of these again. Um, you know, so I was gonna make a mint and I thought, should I make a chocolate mint? But no, I'll just make the mint frosting by itself and that way we'll have it separately and it won't be overwhelmingly chocolate, right? I mean, cause the, hey Jaybird, hello. Oh, it's nice to see you. How are you recovering? I love pictures of the baby. Very cool. I'm just gonna take a second. <laughs> that was a good note to pause on, so we'll do that. Look at the cupcakes. Oh, they look so good. All right, four minutes left on those, excellent. Uh, yeah, so I don't think we'll add any more chocolate to it. We've got a nice chocolatey cupcake base. So we'll have our peanut butter and our mint. They're not gonna go, at least for me, I would say they don't go together. I like mint very separately from most flavors though. So that might be part of why. Like mint chocolate and then mint or chocolate. Let me see what I did. I said I had two frostings in the freezer, and I know I do. I just need to look at them. Ah, yes, okay. Here they are. We will use my infamously inefficient softened butter option. Since they're mostly, well, they're mostly sugar. <laughs> sugar and butter. And then in the meantime, the scar is slightly infected because you've been doing too much. Oh my goodness. Oh, you lift him when he needs you to, yeah. Cause you can't not, right? Ah, uh, I'm sorry. Well, I hope you were able to get it taken care of right away and make sure that you're all, you know, improving and, and healing up. But I get that. Yeah, you can't just <laughs> tell your kiddo like, nah, mommy's not available. Like that doesn't work. Even if you have a major incision in your guts. But I hope, uh, I hope you, yeah, get the infection taken care of because that's always important, right? Don't mess with things like that. We were talking about infections on my walk with my friend today because if it's in the head, like you don't mess with it. Also, if it's in the gut, you don't mess with it, right? You could use a cupcake. I would send you a cupcake. I would make you a whole dozen cupcakes and drop them on your porch. Not drop them, drop them, like leave them for you <laughs> on your porch so that you could have them whenever you wanted. I need a cherry jelly filling, chocolate. Oh, you're so right, right. You are so right. And I used up the rest of my red berry jam on the pirate pie on Friday. So all I have is strawberry jam. So I couldn't even do a jammy middle. I love cherries too. Yes, that would, that would be perfect. Next time I am in the mood to buy a jam, like I'm not in the mood now because I have a giant jam container and I'm like, I don't need another jam yet. Like wait till it gets low, then I can have more. Uh, I'm gonna redo that because as I said, it just doesn't work. <laughs> it doesn't work quickly. Um, but I will buy either a cherry preserve or a, like the red berry jam again, which has cherry in it as well as raspberry, red currant, and maybe strawberry. You don't have a porch. <gasps> you should get a porch. Yeah, that's true. It might be American. Um, yeah, I guess, I guess they're not big in the UK from, from my own personal experience. I was only in the Netherlands for like a week for work, so. Yeah, not a lot of porches, you're right, you're right. 
So I would do, a, I would just do a delivery then. That's fine, I can do that. You have a front door, a front yard, and your front door right away. I'll leave it in your yard. I am not making the brownies from the brownie box. I am making an entire batch of chocolate cupcakes. Aww. And I'm gonna fill them with different things. Like what? I would sound, fill them with cherry, like Rye and Jay are enjoying the idea of, I know you don't like cherries. That's okay, I still love you. Uh, peanut butter Reese's filling. You wanna taste a little bit and see if it's good? No, with your finger in it? Yeah. <coughs> Excuse me, I had a cough. What do you think, kiddo? Good filling? That's pretty good. It's pretty good? Okay, I'm glad. All right, so let's see if our first batch is ready to take out. They should be just, yep, they sure are. A chocolate chip cookie, sure. You've had a bunch of ice cream already, right? Uh, I bet daddy broke that off and tried to eat it. Uh, Don't you think? Oh yeah, he did that last night. I don't know. Last night? <laughs> I figured he did. Um, I really don't want to use the little one. I want to use the other big cupcake things, which means I need to put them on a cooling rack. Too sweet. All right, let's make some space for them here. We'll put the filling there. That milk just needs to go. It's not going to be good for our purposes anymore. Okay. Uh, I do have fresh milk. So, did I not just get out a fork? I swear you, I got out a fork, but I don't see where I put it, so I probably didn't. All right. Lucky girl with her mom being such a good baker. Baker, thank you so much, Jay. I, um, I appreciate that. Sometimes I wonder if I set her up for lack of success in the future, you know? Partly because She's doing much better at managing her sugar than I did when I was a kid, and my mom is a really good baker. So, and no blame to my mom, of course, but one of those things that I learned growing up was like, oh, I can't have that much sugar, it makes me sick. And she learned that very early. She actually vomits if she has too much, which is actually great, right? Uh, but I do, I do wonder if having sweets around all the time is gonna, I don't know, mess her up in, in some way. I worry about that with anything though, right? How am I messing up my kid today? <laughs> she is adorable. No, thank you. I appreciate you saying that. She, yeah, sometimes she doesn't want to be cute. She wants to be cool, but she is very adorable. Hello. Irish is very adorable too. She's got jokes. Come on, I think you're amazing. She's got jokes. You're so pretty. <laughs> Ooh, they're gonna cut the, okay. So we had a lightning strike in our front yard. There's a giant pine tree. It was a direct hit. We literally thought the power had gone out, something had blown up, but it was just that close to the house. It's like right there. And uh, so they're gonna come cut it down because it's dying horribly and it will fall on somebody. $2,000. $2,000 to cut down that tree. And, and replace it. It is a big tree. It is very tall. The pines here get that way, so. You've moved towards SOS recipes. Tell me more about that, Rye. It's part of growing up, ruining your child, <laughs> causing them trauma. I think so too, Jay, so all joking aside, I think it'll be all right. But yes, it, I, I, do, I do have those thoughts like, oh, yay, I'm good at baking. Oh, yay, I taught her how to eat so, too much sugar. Sprite? Okay, I'll put them on the list. Salt, oil, sugar-free, oh, I have not heard of that yet. That sounds cool. Salt, oil, and sugar, well, I mean, I love salt. I put salt in, back in it. <laughs> so it has flavor, but I get what you're saying. As long as obesity caused by it's fine, you mean she cannot cause health. Yeah, yeah, she's not gonna become obese, I don't think, from my baking. Mordal, cut it down yourself. All the locals will bring their own chainsaws and take a chunk to use as firewood. That's what happens here. That uh, Texas is very similar, we could. Um, it, there is a part of our front yard doesn't belong to us and that's where the tree is so we actually have to do it through a company which otherwise yeah yeah otherwise we'd be like bring your chainsaw come on over 
and then you'd see it on TikTok, like how not to do things. <laughs> no obesity. No, I, I got what you meant, Jay. Absolutely. Um, I should take many things taking my attention. I feel like I feel like parts of Australia and parts of the U.S., maybe specifically Texas, are very similar in that way. You know, I feel like there's a, maybe a vibe that's similar. Or it even might be towns, right? Like, I didn't spend very much time in Sydney, but I could see how it would be, maybe it's like Austin, or maybe it's like San Francisco. Like, they, they got some vibes. I like that, we should share, we should have we should appreciate our commonalities and our differences, of course. These are nice and tender. I wonder if the cake flour made that much difference because if it did, I should probably keep doing it. We all grew up on sugar, to be honest. Yeah, I, I for sure did. So, because fat was bad, sugar wasn't as bad. Like, care less about sugar, don't eat any fat. Fat is delicious. I grew up on margarine too, and so when I first had butter, I was like, this is disgusting. And then finally, finally, I guess I got past the being used to margarine thing, and butter is amazing, delightful. All right, is this one still quite hot? No. All right, let's fill it. Ah! Let's knock cupcakes off and ruin everything. Do I have chocolate? No, I don't think so. <laughs> this one I am doing one and a half each because I want to be able to make sure they have one and a half. And if I run out before then, I will just not do that cupcake, you know? I won't have a full 12. More doll, very summer real communities where anyone will help if anything. Others are just sex to be a good luck type of people. Yeah. Oh, that's probably that's probably everywhere but well I mean and half of it I don't know like our, our immediate neighborhood is a bunch of old people and so they're like well I can't do that I don't know how to do that kind of thing and then but in other parts like where my parents live their whole neighborhood they're out they have they all have acreage and so they're all like hey borrow my wood shredder and my, you know, stump grinder and all the things and they're, you know, they've got these really expensive, cool equipment because you need to have it if you have land. And so they, they're very neighborly about that kind of thing. So we've got power washing going in the back and tree cutting going in the front. It's very exciting here today. You ordered some dino cupcakes at your ex's mom's company since her grand, it's her grandson, she made them for free. You wanted to pay, but she wouldn't let you. Good for you, good for you both. Good for grandma, good for mama. That's really cute. That's gotta be hard for, the, for your ex's mom in some ways, you know? I guess it, everybody just works out how it works in their own you know, family. But some of those dynamics can be tricky. All right, I do have to get the six well cupcake pan silicone tray thing out because I have enough to have a few more than 12, which is nice. As long as I have papers for them. So let's see, I have at least three. I could have four. Let's see if we can have four. He turns two next Thursday. Oh, early happy birthday to him. How sweet. Two is so fun. One's fun. Well, a lot of the ages are fun. And then some of them are horrible. Oh, goodness. It's going to be two. It might be one. Let me, where's my, do I have a, do I have a spatula left? Yes. Let's look it out a pumpkin. Okay. So the dishware can be left in there because it's going to need to be emptied out. But I'm going to scrape this down. She doesn't know you broke up yet. Ooh, yeah. Oh, yeah. 
Do you hear they're spraying my windows? That's a, that might be quite a hard conversation to have, huh? I do not envy you that. Okay, that's most of one, to sure. This last cupcake is just gonna be, all right, we're gonna do three. So I'll put that one there and put that one there for even heat distribution. Can you hear that? Can you hear the spray? It's violent. And on the birthday of her granddaughter and the birthday of her grandson, wasn't the right moment. Like, hey, we're so glad you're here, by the way. <laughs> we're broken up. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's a lot. Well, I hope you find the, the right time soon, because the sooner the better, right? All right, let's just see. I mean, it doesn't matter how much of a disher it is because it's gonna bake in the last well, but it's about one. I'm gonna try and scrape just a little bit more out. You're very scared for that conversation because he's actually refused to, oh, let him see the kids. Well, you can just reassure her. Like, I know you'll work it out. Communication is key, being open, you know, listening, and then being clear about boundaries as well as any other expectations, right? <coughs> there, especially with kids involved, you just have to be very clear and calm about it. Like, here's the thing. Like, with some of my relatives, like, here's the thing. If you use that particular word, you will not see your granddaughter again until you can reassure us completely that you will not use that. So far, no one has ever broken that boundary, which is good, because I would probably be called rude names by those people if because I would I would absolutely not let her be around them Raymond hello how's my dino nuggies guy how you doing I was thinking about you just the other like a couple days ago hadn't seen you in a while what are you doing what's up three months sub thank you so much three you know three months in a row sub not the big three month in one go sub. That's a lot. You go girl. <laughs> Crab likes that. You promise from the moment. Yeah. You got pregnant with the first. That's it's so good to have those those boundaries and those expectations. All right. There we go. Pa. just got home from a boxer fracture from punching your mic while in VR. Are you kidding? <laughs> Really? Like, did you crack a, a what, a phalange, a, a meta, metacarpal probably, back here? Tell me all about it. Dino Nuggies, they don't have them on here. <laughs> Ramage always brings the Dino Nuggies. So good. Ooh, oh, wow, that was exciting. I made the noise and I scared myself, that's ridiculous. All right, I am going to give you soothing ASMR dishwashing because I, I need the pot that I curdled the milk in. So I'm gonna get any, hopefully any trace of that milk and the caramel out. Because we are going to warm our milk. Oh, I gotta bake these. Let's focus and do the thing. Let's put these in the oven. Fifth metacarpal, sweet. We are, kiddo and I are doing anatomy and physiology for science. She doesn't like it. It is my, well, one of my all time favorite. I like a lot of science, don't judge me, but it's like bones, like knowing bones, super, I should set a timer. Okay, everything's fine. Um, knowing bones is really cool for me and I've been learning muscles. <laughs> 30 years after I learned all the bones because like we had a bone book and it was cool. And so now I'm like learning muscles and where they go, but we have uh, like the little bone magnets and stuff. We have the anatomy quiz cards, that kind of thing. So it's good to know. It's good to know these things. Like how many pounds of pressure can break a collarbone or your clavicle, it's three. So don't do that, don't push on it. <laughs> Ramage, do you need more ASMR? Let's check our filling. Okay, it's not 
it's tacky, it's not solid. So that's gonna be ready when these guys cool off a little bit. You had to learn the bones, muscle, circulatory system to be a hairdresser. What, like the old style, like the, the barber? <laughs> a hairdresser, why? I mean, I would learn all that stuff. I like it, yeah, circulatory system's pretty cool. I don't know enough about it, really. Like, I know the big parts, but more. You have no idea why, right, exactly. Okay, well, cool, well, good for you. Cause you know, sometimes I'm like, it's a cool craft. It, hairdressing is a very cool craft and I love it. But w what does it entail? Because like, there's a lot of chemistry, right? With, with bleaching, like the girl who bleached my hair so I could dye it blue, she did all the right things and she did not kill my hair, but she made it blonde and like, that's a big deal. Like that takes a lot of chemistry and knowledge and experience, so that's awesome. But I, sometimes I don't know like how much do people actually know about what they're doing. Do you just like, oh, follow the recipe, don't know why it works? Or do you like get the chemical interactions or stuff? So. You're not a hairdress, hairdresser, not a barber. I was thinking Barber of Seville, like we'll just bleach you and we'll cut your hair and we'll do all the medical stuff and all the things. Um, okay, I do need to clean off also. Let me, okay, let me focus. These don't need to be cleaned off yet. These need some of this in it. If we're going to try to make our mint buttercream, we'll put mint in first. Oh yeah, bleach color perm shampoo, yeah, exactly. Yep. How's the tree thing going? It's too big, they didn't bring all the right stuff? No, Ah, okay. Postponed. Barbers have a monopoly on head shaving and it irritates you. <laughs> it was a great day to stop by, but Lily finally fell asleep. Good night, Jay. We'll see you soon. Whenever you can make it, you're absolutely always welcome. Yes, take a nap. Right, that was a joke, right? I just assumed <laughs> because I have such funny, interesting people in chat. There are 106 bones in the body ramage. I just saw that, but you start off with more. And then there's a plus or minus factor as well. Some people don't have all, all the ribs, apparently. You know how short a cow's femur is too? We had a science event on Friday with our normal co-op group and one of the moms brought her bones. She had cow bones, cow skull, and it's like the femur of the cow is like this thick, but it's this short, like it's stocky. And I never, I think of cows as really giant things. So it didn't quite work in my head, but there it was. Only barbers allowed to do head shaving, but you like to go to salons for therapy. You don't like going to the barbers. Oh, I thought it was because head shaving like irritated your head. Well, I don't know. Do they not? The salon did my undercut, which was like pretty sure if I said take it all off, she could have. So I don't know. Hope to see the finished cupcakes. Absolutely, Jay. I um, will put it on my Instagram if you want to see it later and you aren't able to make it back. I mean, the VOD's always there too, but I do have the Insta for if you just want to look at stuff and not really deal with me, <laughs> just look at my food instead or whatever, like catch up on stuff. So it's in my Twitch profile somewhere. All right, so I'm just getting the mint leaves. We're going to put some fresh milk in steep it we're gonna on low obviously warm it up let it steep and then use it for now the other thing I could do would be puree it uh, I don't think I'm gonna go there yet if this doesn't work how I want we can do that next time maybe I have plenty of mint that whole arrow garden was taken over by the mint welcome back creme to use a straight razor oh yeah she just used like clippers so that that would be why well I mean straight razors are like I mean like chef's knives like big old big old blades oh, I'm sorry is my necklace on the mic again there we go 
They're having a setup competition, apparently. Straight razors, um, they scare me a little bit. All right. That's some smack talk I hear. Uh huh. <laughs> taunting the child. It happens. She taunts him right back most of the time. All right. I don't know how much mint we actually need. Like, I want it to definitely have the flavor. We'll just keep going. Apparently now they're sparring. I should not pay attention, yeah. That's fine, everything's fine. I will use some of the rest of this for tea later, so maybe I will use, let's see, that one. Did you see they're bolting? They have um, the, the flowers on it, which thankfully does not change the flavor. Uh, it does with most things, like bolting spinach, don't eat it, it's gonna be really bitter. But this just bolts the whole time, like it just goes through phases. And it just means that it's warmer than it wants to be, but it still grows, so. I just let it. I'm smelling the next batch of cupcakes. 10 minutes, okay. All right, I'm gonna put this over here by the kettle. <laughs> For later and then we'll get some, the rest of this in here and clean up all the little flowers and dried leaves and all the things it's always a mess in here isn't it all right oh yeah they're still frosting in the microwave that was beeping and beeping and finally stopped because, oh, it's there. Yeah, I did get it out. I thought, would it still be beeping at me? It probably would, like every five minutes thereafter. Oh, goodness, here we go. So that will be our mint, and here is our milk. Super fresh. And we'll put in, the thing is we only need a tablespoon or two for buttercream. So we'll put that in and see if we can get it warm. This is kind of like what we did for the lemon mint sorbet, except we put the milk in last. So let's put it on medium low and see how we go. If I break it again, lesson learned. Your coworker's wife made you a loaf of pumpkin bread. Very nice. That sounds really good. I love pumpkin. I would make more pumpkin stuff, but um, I went to check all the stuff that was in my fridge and my pumpkin, my can of pumpkin that I hadn't used all of was growing three different kinds of mold. So that went away. I'll get some more eventually. Okay, these are actually cool. So we can core them. Let's see, they are nice and soft. They are a little bit softer than usual, which I think does mean the cake flour makes a difference. So I'll have to keep doing that, I guess. Mm, it's got a little bit stiffer than I, it's still tacky. I think I said earlier, I just don't want it to be hard. I don't want it to be like too stiff when you bite into it because this is supposed to be a softer cupcake. Hmm. I probably need the two spoons thing. Oh, that has a weird aftertaste. Tastes like baking soda. I put the right amount in. Hmm. I'll have the kiddo come taste the next one. Two spoons. Both which have not had my mouth on them like that one, so that one goes away. There we go. We used to, before I had a disher used to take two spoons and make the vaguely round shaped 
with these. Now I could have put the middle plug back in, but generally, generally for these I don't. If it was like a soak or something, I would. However, I'm not gonna eat all the middles. So I know I said the kid probably had enough sweets for the day, but she, she might have more. She might have some cut cake middles in the meantime. All right, so we'll make this outer row peanut butter cup. This little device is neat. I'm glad Irish got it for me. All right, let's go check what's going on here. It's pretty warm. Yeah, it's steaming. All right, off it goes. We'll let that cool for a while and then we'll come back to it. So we should have a little bit of vanilla buttercream left over, just a little bit now. How did I not fill them up? I was like <laughs> missing part of the process. Right, let's get on that. Some of these are getting a lot more than others. I think I'm gonna go back and try and even them out. There we go. I mean, you want them to be, I want them to be pretty full. I don't want to skimp on it. It's almost October. I was just thinking, I wish I could share these with you, but it's almost October. So in October, I will send out a subscriber. I can't say that. Well, no, that's not true. It's not that I can't say that. I can't limit a giveaway to just a subscriber, but I try to show appreciation for everybody who can sub because I do appreciate it greatly. And if you sub, then I get money from Twitch and then I can send you something because it costs at least $10 to send you <laughs> cookies. But I will, I will send out a care package at some point during October and share some cookie love. I would do it all the time if I could, but it's just, it's quite expensive. Even if you don't factor in the cost of the ingredients, which I never do because, you know, I mean, yes, it adds up, but at the same time, it's, it's not prohibitive. There we go. Now we can ice them at least with what icing we have left. I do like the fat little swirls. See, they're little fat guys. So I think I'll have enough to ice too. Maybe not quite to. It has the um, collar for the piping tip on it. Well, that's it. All right, so I'm going to put the piping tip collar in the sink. There we go. And while I'm here, there we go. Here's your soothing sounds for the stream. I will wash off. First, I'm going to get the cake batter off of these, and then I'm going to actually wash them. 
because we don't bake our frosting, so we cannot be sure that we will kill the germies. Chocolate is stuck to everything. Oh, and bacon. There's one piece of lingering bacon. <laughs> All right. Oh, I forgot. I can give you a view. It is silly, isn't it? I know, but that's okay. We'll do it. Oh, I found the fork that I was missing. I put the pot holder on top of it. Goodness, this one's all down in there, isn't it? Okay, where's, oh, I have a dirty towel. Let's get a clean towel. And come back over here. Yeah, and those are almost done. 13 seconds. <laughs> there it goes. Yes, okay, that is good and these should be good as well. Yes, all right. Uh, so I was thinking I probably should make enough filled cupcakes to use up the peanut butter. So we'll go ahead and do that. I don't know what I would do with it otherwise, so <laughs> we've gotta use it. scrape the good stuff off the spatula. This one I, I will lick. Yeah, still nice and rich. I do love putting the butter in with the peanut butter. All right, we're gonna be extra generous with these. Fill them all the way up, so. I might have <laughs> made holes in more than I actually have the ganache for. That'll be fine too though. That one needs some more. Okay, maybe that's too much. Scraping it down. Got to get all the good stuff out. That was one thing my mother taught me very, very well. Don't waste it. I can't imagine having four kids to feed. I mean, I kind of can. I cooked for my family sometimes before I left for college. Rarely, but occasionally. It's a lot. Okay, do we have any more room in any of these? No, so we will do one more. Excellent, excellent. Okay, now, if I scrape up Absolutely, the last bit of what's left, we can put it on one of these middles. Because we have to taste test. It is good. There's actually a little bit too much butter in the peanut butter. But it is really nice and creamy, like it's buttery. So that's not bad. Oh, the milk tastes minty. Okay, that's good. All right, I'm gonna make some normal buttercream first. Vanilla. And then I, see there's my fork. 
that I never used because I got the other one out. And then we'll make some, some mint buttercream. I put flower, mint flower petals on the butter accidentally. There's my really dirty towel. Did I already throw it over there? I did. There's a washing pile right there. Um, hmm. All right, let's do a little more vanilla. And we'll do mint. I think frosting to me is just very soothing. It all comes together and then you have this whole amount of fluffy sweet stuff. And it's, it's really forgiving and <laughs> that's nice. All right, mint goes back here. I'm gonna go ahead and put, I did not leave the milk out. Go ahead and put some vanilla in it. Mm, I don't always measure. In fact, I rarely measure any of this. <coughs> Sorry, wrong button. I managed to set a 60 minute timer for no reason that I can think of. So I unset it. We'll find out in an hour if I shouldn't have, right? All right, so vanilla, butter, milk. You're not supposed to do it this way. It's not written this way, but I do it. Um, I don't need milk for that one because it has mint milk. It's not a common phrase. It sounded really weird when I just said it. Now this might have to go back in the microwave for a minute because I just put cold milk on soft butter and it might not be so soft anymore. If I do anything, I should probably study thermodynamics a little bit more. I have been thinking about studying something else. Like as fun as it would be to get my PhD in English, I, I wouldn't use it. Maybe I would use something else more. And I just like to learn stuff. Yeah, it's a little bit too chilly now. We'll give it 15. So this is what the mint milk is. It might be super subtle when it gets mixed in with the sugar, but we're gonna try it. I mean, so far it's kind of promising. I will let it sit some more. I was gonna strain it. We'll let it sit for as long as we have because we don't need to rush it. There we go, all right. So vanilla, milk, and butter. Excellent start to almost any frosting. Of course, well, no, only an excellent start to American buttercream. All the others you put butter in last. But here we go with powdered sugar. Trying again, hello, Boro, how are you again? Is it working? Mine's green. But that doesn't mean it's doing all the right things, you know? Yes, I believe my stream is streaming. It, it sure thinks it is. Actually, that was too wet because now the butter's melted. So the texture of the frosting is gonna be weird. But we'll carry on. Maybe belt, melted butter, vanilla buttercream will be a thing in my future. You good? How to deal with humans were being human. They do that a lot. I am so sorry. are hard. Humans are very hard. I own a human. I don't. I don't own anybody. I take care of a human who is not legally able to take care of herself yet, although she cut an egg. No, apple. <laughs> wow, how did I do that, right? She cut an apple with a steak knife in a very interesting way today. I said, do you want help? And she goes, no. 
I'm a big girl, I can cut an apple. And I was like, oh, she's gonna use the nylon knives, the baby knives. She did not, she got out a steak knife. And she hacked that apple up and I was super impressed with her approach because she cut the round top off and then the round bottom off and then cored out the, uh, the stem and the flower end and then started cutting it up into pieces, which is not the way I do it at all, but that doesn't mean it's wrong in any way and I liked it, I thought it was pretty great. See, so even the butter, even though the butter melted, it's like, it's like this. It's fine, it's good. I'm gonna dye it yellow, as I did with that, because I want them to be consistent. And I will almost certainly dye the mint one green to remind my brain that it tastes funny. It ended up in pieces and still edible victory. Exactly, yes, precisely. Now I do fluff my buttercream when I, when I make the time to, so we'll do that. Now on cooking shows, you'll see them run the industrial um, mixer with buttercream in it for 10, 15 minutes and it's fantastic. But I'm not gonna stand here for 10, 15 minutes and do this, so we've compromised. Hello, Red. Now it shows up. Thank you so much for the reset. How are you? I am glad it showed up. I'm not getting any sound alerts, but y'all are. So there's all sorts of fun things like who sees what and who hears what. We don't know. I'm really good. Thank you. I'm making frosting. What could be? What could be better? Do you just get off work? Are you still working? I'm gonna put this in a piping bag. It is a different yellow than the other one. The other one had more dye in it, but we'll be okay without it. And it's a little bit of a softer, little tiny bit of a softer buttercream. Let me get the crunchy container. No, there was dried frosting in the bottom. It is a hazard. <laughs> Go. Now, one of my last remaining spatulas before I'm completely out. Yes, it literally is my last spatula. I will have to resort to a wooden spoon after this and that's not happening. It's so, so this is, it's, um, it's soft and it runs. I'm actually gonna add a tiny bit more powdered sugar to it before I do anything else. It's just a little bit too soft, but because the butter was melted, it did affect the texture and that's fine. I'm just gonna have to mess with it for a, another second. Put that there and get this. What I'm really excited about, and I don't care if I jinx it, it'll be fine. Uh, the connection hasn't gone down yet. And after the last two days, uh, I'll take it like for sure. <laughs> Even if it goes down now, I've had a good stream so far. I've streamed, I've not been interrupted and frustrated. There we go. It's gonna be a little firmer now, which I just don't want it to run. It's not my intent with this, so I'm whip it up a bit. All right. Ah, and before I do anything else, I'm gonna get out the casserole and go ahead and put it in the oven. I made it earlier. I'm learning. I'm learning the better way to do streaming days is to do this. Put it all in the dish and then put the dish in the oven. Yeah. I was thinking, should I let it come to room temp first? And my answer is no. It's a Le Creuset dish. If it doesn't work, I, there's probably a warranty and gold plating and something else. That was from our expensive days when we're like, yeah, let's buy a really bougie container for our casseroles. <laughs> bougie casserole? I don't know. All right, there we go. Yeah, that's gonna, that's just stiff enough it's gonna hold up much better so that it won't run off the cupcake.
No, there we go. Yes, I made it. <laughs> it's like gambling. Will it get everywhere or will I make it into the piping bag? That should be enough for now. Let's start. Oh, wow, I got a lot more room in there. Neither the little violence. Hmm. Here we go. Lick a spoon, I will, in a minute. I've got to make more, more frosting with it though, and that's my last spatula. I'll just be scraping it with my hands. <laughs> I mean, I do it. All right, here we go. You, can, you have a nice view, oh good, yeah. All right, so let's wrap these lovelies up. There is a dark spot in my frosting, I don't like that. It's still a little bit softer. You see how the tail curves down? That's okay, that'll be cute. And it's frosting, so who cares? I never make the right amount of frosting. It's too little or too much. And if it's too little, I make a whole nother batch and it's too much. So essentially frosting is always too much. So if anybody ever tells you you're too much, you just be like, I'm like frosting. Put it right back at them and confuse them and they'll never know and we'll know. You can come tell me all about it. I'll make you cupcakes and tell you you're just perfect the way you are. No one's too much. They're just too little, that's all. All right, we're gonna get the rest of this in here and then we're gonna uh, make mint buttercream. We're gonna see if it actually Tastes like I want it to taste. You're told that your dark humor is too much. You don't think the frosting comeback works for that. It does not. We'll come, let's come up with another one. Your dark humor is too much. I don't know, anything I'm coming up with just sounds like bullying or like, or rudeness. So, probably wouldn't work, but we'll, we'll think, we'll keep that in the back of our mind. Because you're allowed to be as dark and spooky as you want. Like, who doesn't love Wednesday Adams? And if you don't, that's fine, just don't tell me about it. Oh, look at that, that does not look good in any way. Oh, fine, it's gonna go in there. It looked very like something that I should not, mm -mm, this is a family friendly stream. <laughs> well then. Okay, just gonna tuck that over there for now. We are going to get, oh, I have a whole new bowl and everything. Check that out. So I'll just need that. There's even room in the dishwasher. It will be the second time I've run the dishwasher today, but that is the occupational hazard of being a food and drink streamer, which is not an occupation, cause, I mean, I could put it on my resume. What do you do? Oh, I'm a streamer. No. <laughs> All right, butter. Milk strainer, yes. There we go. Okay. Uh oh, flat spin and raider together in the same stream again. Let the shenanigans ensue. So I'm not adding vanilla. I'm leaving the yellow because we'll put a little bit of green in it and we'll put a lot of, well, I need to whip it together first, yes. And then we'll put confectioner sugar in it and then we will taste it. That butter is cold. That is not gonna work. Uno momento, por favor. All right, so in the meantime, let's get our piece of frosting and our cupcake noodles and taste test this as well. Boro, yeah, absolutely. Definitely non-study income. 
and yeah, even if you're a partner, you're still not you're still not going to necessarily get anything depending on you know, the mood of of the watchers. So that would be a really hard. Oh no, no, that's not how we do things. <laughs> oh, red start and stuff. See, I melted this one too. I really thought I'm clearly bad at um, microwave today. I failed the microwave, but I went at sugar. So, you know, it's all about balance. Just put in more sugar. Are you gonna tell mom what you tat? <laughs> he already tattled on you. I told him, I'll tell you too. Red, your brother is here to look out for you. You're on the same team. So don't fight so much that you can't beat the crap out of other people if they insult your brother. I didn't say that whole part, but you know that's what I meant. You're in Ground Branch, yes. You've been playing for a while. Seems pretty enjoyable. His fiance was a nurse, so it did work eventually. Yeah, but still, I mean, like, I mean, and you can look at assets and stuff, but what a pain. It's at that point you're like, I'll just make enough to purchase the house outright, like loans and mortgages and stuff. It's just, it's a game. Red, can you not go play yet? Oh, I should probably put a, a timer on the casserole. I did not even think about that. It's all cooked, it just has to get hot again. So that'll take a minute. Look at this, this is sugar soup right now. We're gonna use a lot. Like, I, there was more, probably more milk. Oh, bloody well, we're gonna use that much then. Everything is fine. Irish tech op, Bacon and John walk into a bar. What's the next, what's the punchline? It's got a good start. Oh yeah, I'm literally gonna have to pull out whatever's left of my 50 pound bag of powdered sugar to get this to not be soup. Let's whip it. Let's whip it good first. Randomly getting sad. You're gonna get off Twitch for the night, Boro. Okay. You're you're allowed to have all your feelings. We'll hopefully see you. I'll be in Mama Wavos's chat tomorrow. But you do what you need to do for you, and I'll see you again soon. You take care of you, okay? Thank you for being here. Hi, Tibbs, how are you? All right, I'm gonna go get more powdered sugar. Boro, I'll be thinking of you. Whoa, I didn't realize I had a whole flat of tomato sauce until I moved the sugar in there. It is underneath there. That'll be fun. I should make something. All right, so this is how much powdered sugar we have left. See? But it has to go back in here so that the cats don't claw at the back. Also, there's a tiny hole in the bottom of it, apparently, um, so that it does not get destroyed in various ways. So, the cupcakes. You wish you could smell those? Awkward. <laughs> they smell delicious. Of course they do. Irish just being dirty. Oh gosh, how are we gonna do this? How did I do it last time? I used a scoop of some kind. Yes, I can lift it. No, it's not very controlled or pretty. Uh, we'll just use the cup scoop. It's the one, the largest one we have right now. As if I have a larger scoop in the future or something? No, is this, do you have a cup measure? This, this is your scoop. We'll do it cup by cup. And then it probably, I can't say it because then it'll happen. So don't even, don't even listen to what I'm saying. Everything is fine, nothing is ruined.
You think this is a lot of powdered sugar, but it's not. Not the way I make frosting. And it's pretty much the only thing I use powdered sugar for is frosting. Occasionally like puppy chow, like the Chex Mix with the peanut butter chocolate melty goodness that you put in a bag and put powdered sugar in and it's basically a diabetic coma. Delicious. All right, so that's, we're gonna call that full. And then we're gonna start ferrying across a couple loads of flour to the frosting. Uh, we're gonna get it on the floor. Of course we are. That's okay, we'll start here. You love buttercream icing on cupcakes, you are in the right place, my friend. It's so easy. Like, I will make other icings. That ermine icing was very nice. The neighbor uh, prefers the ermine, he said, over the one I usually do, which is 100% American buttercream, but I need to do some Swiss meringue as well. We have some good recipes on trying a bit of a cheat with meringue powder instead of egg whites, so we'll do that. This is what I grew up with. This is 100% the only icing I ever knew existed other than the rumor that you could buy it at the store in tubs, but it was gross. Like. I didn't know there was Italian buttercream and Swiss meringue and ermine and boiled and, which I think ermine is the boiled one, but then there's like seven minute grandma frosting. There's like a lot. This is probably the sweetest by far. Oh, oh, okay, wait. I'm gonna add more sugar to that, but let me tell you, I tell you as Mrs. Swan. <laughs> um, I'm gonna do a class on frosting. No! Oh God, I thought it was OBS crashing. It's just droid cam, that's fine, I don't care. I'm gonna turn this off actually. <laughs> Give me another minute, please. Oh, well, okay. Oh, man, I was gonna freak out there. Um, I'm gonna do a frosting class for anybody that wants to join and I'll put, I have a spreadsheet that we'll go through and uh, I'll tell you what ingredients you should have or you can see from the spreadsheet what ingredients you should have and we'll play with it on stream together and y'all can chat with me and maybe discord with me and stuff and we'll talk about it and figure it out. So if you want some frosting and you don't mind going out and getting some ingredients that you might not have if you've never made frosting before or if you're old hand at this and wanna come hang out and do it together, that's what we're gonna do. Maybe, I'm, maybe next Friday, I don't know yet. I'll let you know. I'll tell you what. <laughs> I can't do it. I can't do it the way the pros do. And by the pros, I mean Squizzy usually does it really well. This is a lot. And it has the mint in it. So if this is, this is a lot of frosting, but that's about the consistency I wanted. Good. Please cream cheese. Oh, you know, that's true. I make that and I have it in a long time. All right. Thank you, Darkwood. You can get the mint if you know what to look for. So my question is, I still have all my mint leaves that I steeped in my milk. I mean, do I like crush them up and put them in there? Crush them up like super fine. I'm gonna get out my pestle. We're gonna play with it, friends. We've got a minute and an interest. So. Let's try. I bought this for myself. I got free Amazon dollars from a health programmy thingy that I that I do, and um, I buy all sorts of things with free Amazon dollars, but mostly things I really don't need, like a mortar and pestle made out of granite. Oh, there's a little bit of milk in there. Let's get some of that in there. Y'all are the best, by the way. I just wanted to say that because I don't say it enough. Thank you, everybody in chat, anybody in channel who is lurking or doing anything. I appreciate you all. Okay, tips, so cream cheese icing. <laughs> it does smell a lot. You know it does. Solid granite, baby. Of course you'd come in on that, wouldn't you? Um, so tips, cream cheese icing is your favorite, like you, would put it on anything, because it's usually for red velvet and carrot cake. 
but I really like it. That looks good. It's actually getting really smooth. You've been looking for a minute, just waiting for the opportune moment. Thank you, Smola. Appreciate that. <laughs> We've all got good senses of humor here, or else we would never make it, so. <laughs> I appreciate yours. is I don't want stringy bits in frosting. That would be super gross. So I'm trying to figure out how I'm going to get it in here without, like I can't, I might be able to sieve it in again. We'll see. Can you hear it? It's solid. I had a ceramic one once and I think I cracked the, the pestle or the mortar. I don't remember but I broke it. You have mortar and pestle too, spent three days breaking it in before you used it. What did you break it in with? I broke it in by using it. <laughs> I mean, I washed it first, but then it was, I almost always use this for um, cashews that have been soaked overnight so that I can do my friend's ch uh, butter, uh, butter chicken. Well, no, I mean, she does butter pinnier because she's vegetarian, but I put chicken in mine. All right, let's see what we get out of that. I do have a tiny spatula left, so I guess I wasn't being honest with y'all, which is terrible of me. I'm so sorry, but we're going to use the tiny spatula and the strainer to see if we can get this mix to go into there. It will give it some color as well, which may be interesting and may be awful because it probably will just turn brown. Maybe dyeing it will look better <laughs> because then it won't be pea soup or whatever, whatever we'll have going on here. I could have immersion blended it if I hadn't poured the milk in already and that might have been, it probably wouldn't have been as good, honestly. The immersion blender does not seem to get, and maybe it's mine and it's old, uh, but my immersion blender doesn't seem to get things as smooth as it should be. Well, at least it's not brown. It's just not white. No, that didn't help at all. Okay, well, then this is buttercream. <laughs> That's all there is to it. So actually, we'll see if the kiddo can taste it. Mama? 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 
want you to taste this. What is it? Buttercream. It has a tiny, tiny bit of a flavor you like in it, but I can't taste it. Can you taste it? That lemon? No. Oh yeah, I can taste it. What can you taste? Mint. Mint? It is. You don't like it? It's okay. I was gonna put it on chocolate and have mint chocolate cupcakes. Do you want to take the beater, try it like you normally do, with your fingers. Take the other one. I just want to try this one. Okay. I don't like it. You don't like it. Okay. Try it on chocolate. <laughs> well, now it's stuck to my fingers. Here you go. I used to feed you that way. Better on chocolate? No? Just awful? I have a whole bowl full of it, so what should I do? I don't like it. I'll make a cake with it. Make a cake with it? Do you like mint? What? Do you like mint chocolate? Well, sometimes I like mint chocolate. You know what? I'll frost some of them and we'll have some friends try it, okay? In the meantime, let's share this one, which is not mint at all. Is we'll that taste lemon? test. It is not. It's just yellow. I just made the yellow buttercream. What about that one? They're all the same. The yellow is just different. What's that? Do you know what that is? Is it your favorite? No, it doesn't. It has Less peanut butter? No, that is peanut butter. Oh yeah, for sure it's peanut butter. You're happy with that? Mm -hmm. You want this other quarter? Okay, peanut butter cup cupcakes success. Uh, mint cupcakes, maybe not. All right, well I'm gonna go ahead and frost some of these with this mint. And um, when the friend is coming over tomorrow, She's allergic to peanuts. She doesn't have to have them, but I don't think she is, or her mom would have told me. I think she, she hates peanut butter. Allergic to peanuts means that you like go into like anaphylaxis and stuff. You, you go into shock and you have a big problem. Probably this Disliking peanuts, a whole different thing. Welcome. Love you. <laughs> okay. So, she can taste the mint. I cannot. Not sure, not sure how that works. Well, she probably has a better palate than I do. We'll go ahead and, oh, I can probably, I'll put this away before anything else happens, shall I? My, like, I turn around and knock it off and then there's the rest of the powdered sugar. White powder all over my floor. For when people visit. All right, there we go. Back on top of the tomato sauce that I forgot about. <laughs> and this can go away in the cabinet where it lives. Excellent. Nope, vanilla can also go away. Mmm, scam likely sounds like a fun thing to not answer. All right. I would have sworn to you I just got one of these out, but then obviously I put it someplace that I've already forgotten. So, oh, it's right there. <laughs> so it's invisible to me. All right. I'm gonna take the lid off this casserole while I'm thinking about it so that maybe it heats faster. It's been in there for eh, 20 minutes. Smells like it's hot enough. We're not going to touch it.
Not my proudest moment, but a fun experiment. And it's slightly green, so no food dye. Let's get that in there. I suppose having flecks of mint wouldn't be too bad. If they were really flecks and not like leaves, chunks. My other favorite buttercream is quite chunky. It has brown sugar granules in it. And so it's, it's crunchy in that way. And quite a lot of people like it. All right. It's so funny that there's, it's just a little bit looser with the melted butter. So it makes the little swoops. I actually like it. I'll have to do more taste testing and see if the consistency with it stays within the good zone, you know? All right, reloading. And then we'll be done. And today is Thursday, so hopefully Cookie Manor is on. If not, though, we'll see. We'll see if we can find some other place to go that'll be fun. It's a little bit like a non-Newtonian fluid right now. It's like parts of it are really wet and runny and parts of it are thick. I'm not sure how to feel about that. I know exactly how I feel about that. I don't like it, but that's okay. We'll carry on. Okay. That's it. I mean, there are others back there, but I'm gonna freeze them, not frost them. Um, this is probably too much to go in the bag. We will fill up the rest of this bag and freeze it, and then whatever's left is okay to go in the trash or the sink. That's about it. There we go, it's gonna get its own bag. And I will label it so that I don't have a fun mystery tasting party <laughs> like I've done before. Zip lock should lock and zip. Come on. There we go. It's not an official zip lock, so I probably shouldn't say that because it's AGB brand and it won't work. Oh my goodness. There we go. There we go. There we go. Yes. Success. All right. Labeling mint. Mint buttercream. All right. I'll know that's vanilla and brown sugar. This one also will not zip. I'm not zipping anything right now. There we go. Okay. So I need to taste test this as I did so unceremoniously with the child to see if maybe the mint shows up when you have chocolate. It does. That's weird. It really does taste minty against the chocolate.
Hmm. I'm just so um, surprised. But it works. There's got frosting in there, frosting in there. All the frosting everywhere. <laughs> okay. Clean that. It's it's good, yeah. It's subtle, which I'm not a real subtle person. I'm like my favorite flavor is lemon, like punch you in the face lemon, so you know. But yeah, it actually works. So we'll we'll see who else thinks that these are reasonable and go from there like maybe never make this again or maybe people will enjoy it all right let's see who's on and we'll see if we can go raid skelly no worries we are gonna go see if we can raid out i just finished um peanut butter cup and mint chocolate cupcakes how are you doing why am I, oh. And then we go to twitch.tv. There's flour and powdered sugar now on the keyboard of this laptop. Dana's on. Let me see if cookie's on. My, um, the order of things has gotten moved around. Don't know if you'll see that too, or have seen that. She's live. Good. Excellent, excellent. We're gonna go see our sweet, sweet friend, Cookie Manor, and her husband, Ginger Ninja DJ and show them some love. Doing great, you can see by your face it was a success. Well, thank you, it was actually. I didn't know that it was really gonna be until the very end, but it worked out. So, come with us, Skelly, if you want to. If not, that's okay, because I know it's weird to be, like, come in and then raid immediately and then, but um, I'm gonna hang out with Cookie for a little bit while I clean this up and finish getting the casserole out and all that stuff. So, I'll see y'all in Cookie's chat in a minute, and we will, we will go. So for now, goodbye. I'll see you hopefully in Mama Muevo's chat tomorrow when I host her and Irish hosts her as well. And then we'll see you next week. So take care, you guys.